Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a festival, get ready with me, prepare with me, pack with me kind of thing. Lots of different hauls, it's got camping stuff, it's got clothing, it's got oh, poly dresses, it's got literally anything you can think of and then as well as like normal vloggy stuff um, for my week leading up to Leeds Fest. So let me know if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you went to Leeds Fest, how you found it. Um, I'm aware that Leeds Fest has been and gone now, but I thought I'd still upload this. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got no makeup on or anything. Um, my room's a mess. But anyways, just ignore all of that because I'm getting my nails done today because I've got two weeks off work so I can actually get my nails changed. And I'm getting my eyelashes done. So a little side note, I've got this really cute bag. It was on sale from £26 to £16, so 38%. I mean, I don't have an outfit to go with it. But I love it. I'm off day drinking on Saturday and I was really trying to work out an outfit around this, but it's not been successful so far. Oh, and also I got some new sunglasses from River Island. I've been treating myself to a few little bits. Stay tuned for these best bits and the process of getting ready for it. Is anyone else obsessed with this cheese and broccoli pasta out of the packet? It's so nice. Let me know down below if you've had it. Okay, so oh, my eyes just fallen off and I look terrible, but I'm going to get me nails done. So this is the before. I've got like mascara or something on my hands. This is the before nails, and I will show you the afters when I get back. Um, I'll probably do my makeup at some point in this vlog just to show that I don't always look this ugly. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go get my nails done. Okay, so I hate when this happens, but I don't know if I love them or not. Uh, like them or not. Oh, well, I definitely don't love them. It's like maybe I just need to get used to them. So I don't know, but like tomorrow I might go. <laughs> to a different nail place and change it because i'm just so awkward i don't know about anyone else but these are the nails anyways um without just talking about it too much these are the nails so they're the ombre nails which kind of makes it even worse so i don't really know what to do let me know what you think of these nails down below although it'll be too late by the time you see this video i've got my eyelashes in like half an hour so i'll go get my eyelashes done we'll see how i feel about my nails potentially go get them changed i don't know i don't know what to do Okay, so I know a lot of these clips will just be talking at you, but I promise if the video goes on, it'll probably be less like that. We'll have to be hauls and interesting things. I do have my lashes done now. Lashes and nails done now. I don't know if I look that different, but I like my lashes. I always get hybrids in case anyone was wondering. Um, I've got an assignment to do. I'm probably going to get on with that now. I got myself a McDonald's Coke, and I also got some halloumi fries from McDonald's, which is a little bit naughty of me, but yeah. I'm gonna go in now and have a pancake and do some work. It's now the next day as well and I am awaiting some parcels to come and my sheen parcels should hopefully be here in the next few days with um, festival outfits and also one of my festival outfits from Ego, well a dress but it's very see-through, has came through the post so I will show you that once the couple of other bits come from Pretty Little Thing. I've got so many orders that I'm waiting but um, yeah. I get an Opoly parcel today, but that's not really festival related, but I might show you what they're like on anyways, if you like clove, holes. Okay, so hello everyone. Um, I've just gone and got a McDonald's again, not really Leeds Fest related, but I guess it's my prep leading up to it. It's less than a week now till we go. This time next week we would have had our first night there. Oh my God, what is happening to my coat? Less than a week to go. I got this coat, excuse my hair and everything, I'm just quickly trying on a few bits, from Boohoo, and it cost me £12. Um, for the festival, it's literally just a rain jacket, but um, I love it, I love the colour, it's a lilac colour. We love, I'm excited to wear it, I think it looks cute. Again, ignore my hair, but this is, I haven't done it up properly either, but this is a corset top that I got from boohoo again but yeah i got this top from boohoo it's um a lilac color again can you tell i'm obsessed with lilac at the minute um it's like a tie up corset top at the back so it's very tight at the minute i obviously need to loosen it but i just thought i'd quickly try it on to see if i like the vibe well, like i say i've not done it up properly or anything but i think it'll look really cute with uh, mom jeans and stuff i then tried on this oh poly dress i'm not sure it's a lilac color again obsessed i mean side bits because obviously it's like i don't know i don't know how they're supposed to say it i think if it was one it's cute but with three it's a little bit i don't know if like have it up a little bit more 
So I don't really get how you're supposed to wear this other than have this ridiculously low, but then I don't think that's very flattering, is it? Like, I don't think that's that flattering, to be quite honest. So ig ignore obviously my hair and everything. I don't like train dressing on when I've got makeup and my hair done because I feel like I'm not ruined it. But this is another opal dress that I got. I really like the material of this. This was on sale for £17, which you know if you shop at Opal, that is such a bargain. But I just I just don't know how I feel about it. Um I think I like it. It is a little bit on the see-through side, like the material, but then again, it's actually not bad at all. Um, I feel like because you can tie it yourself, you need to make sure you get them both even because it can look a bit lopsided. But if you get someone else to tie it for you, it's got a zip bag. And I think for £17, it's actually not bad at all. It's really comfy and it's like a silky satin material, but it's not white. Like I wanted a really white dress to go with a shirt, but it's more of like an orangey pinky tone. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What did we do? So we're going to play Paul. One day before Leeds Fest, I have changed my nails. I went live yesterday doing this packing bit, but I've got to finish off packing, so I'll film the last packing bit today i got these little bags though toiletry bags from primark for a pound how good are these um they just say bikini bag on but i got one for jacob um i think they're meant to be two pound and then i got one for me I've still got a label on it um just to put toiletry stuff in but i'm gonna go to primark again today and get one more so that i have two because pff, like look all this it's too full um so i'm gonna get another one of those um i've got all my toilet um, I don't know whether, because we're doing the gold package thing, I don't know whether they have plugs or not, because they provide straight as a hairdryer, but I don't know about curlers, and I don't know if they have plugs, so I don't even know whether it's worth taking that. Um, park life top, I'm kind of worried, to be fair, that it'll get stolen, but I thought that would be cute, like, taking park life top, I don't know. I've got some white chocolate buttons that I've just found in my room that have not been opened. Uh, we've got hair stuff, hair spray, hair glue, whatever it's called. We've got a cheap perfume. Um, this is the one that's supposed to be like alien because I don't want to take any expensive perfume because again, if it gets stolen, broken or anything, I'm not too bothered because it's only cheap. Got plastic cutlery in here, uh, raincoat like I say, um, some bobbles. I do have clear and black ones that I need to find and pack still. So mission today to find those. Got some hair clasps for my hair. Uh, we've got some cards for a camp. You can't go wrong with a pack of cards. You can do drinking games and you can also just play it and um, me and jacob like playing card games so that'd be fun i've got two different kinds of medicines because you can take medicines but they have to be identifiable but um we've got strepsils because our throats are going to be killing us and i think eight should be fine worst case scenario we'll have to buy more but to be fair i think that'll be enough some sudafed sinus medicine which this medicine always helps me out because if i get ill or anything it's always sinuses that i suffer with jacob can have some as well if he needs it but paracetamol will be the main one which we need to get a pack of because we don't actually have any of that um but yeah that's all i've really packed so far like i say i've not packed properly yet i just wanted to show you that so you're a little bit up to date i'm still waiting on my sheen parcel and it's one day before we go so i'm really worried about that We've only just really thought maybe we should take rucksack. So we've got a trolley thing, which my suitcase is going to go on. And probably the camping stuff will all attach to that and we'll like bungee strap that on. But in terms of like alcohol and snacks and maybe like our bigger things, um, probably need a rucksack. I think Jacob's going to fit most of his stuff in a rucksack, but I think I'm going to have to carry a rucksack as well because otherwise um like i'm not gonna fit alcohol and food and stuff in here to be fair i have got a list of stuff and i've ticked most things off it's more just clothes now hello it's me again i've got some camping bits to show you some last minute bits that i got today this is exciting some actual festival bits but this stuff is proper camping little bits that we needed last minute bits and pieces millets and they had a half price sale so i'm kind of glad i went last minute to be fair because everything was half price which was really good and we need a bag or rucksack for all the alcohol and drinks and snacks so because that's not going to fit in my case so 
yeah, so we thought we needed some rucksacks, but we didn't have any. Uh, these, <laughs> these rucksacks, I got two of the same, how cute. So um, one for Jacob and then one for me. But even though the brand, I've never heard of it before. It was the last two on the shelf. So yeah, we did well, really. It has quite a few different compartments, to be fair. It has a zip bit at the back. It's actually quite deep, to be fair. Um, I'm not sure what you put in there, to be honest. Here, so that's that bit that goes into the main compartment. It's really difficult to show. They're not the most padded. I'm not going to lie. Like, they don't don't feel that padded but it kind of looks ugly but <laughs> um there's also a bit here too so it's quite a few little bits and it does obviously expand really um quite a lot and it's got uh you straps around your waist and stuff so it'll be easy to carry so yeah i've got two of those um but yeah so there was some for like 15 pounds that were um expanded width way but not length ways there were some that were like 25 pounds but they were smaller than this and they were better brand but i was like we need like the biggest one really it's got like detail for your back as well so yeah we got those so they were reduced from i think it was 70 pounds to 19 pounds like how good is that and that and the total price came to 56 so that's a large percentage of the cost the end cost but i got a few more bits so i did really well i'm really glad that they had um this sale on to be fair yeah high gear so it's a 4d tornado pump um it's literally the same as the one we have downstairs i think probably slightly different brand but basically the same battery powered pump for inflating and deflating on the campsite or at home it's just compact and easy enough making it ideal for use when you do not have access to main power or 12 volt power i think this is literally the same as what my Looks very similar to what my dad's got. Um, I've got a lamp, a high gear, same brand, three watt cob telescopic lantern. It's seven pounds from 14 pounds. Again, half price. I'm just gonna rip open this box because I can't. We're not losing massive amounts of money. Like this was seven pounds. It's not terrible, is it? But I'm hoping no one will steal it because it's cute, which I think is so cool. So it's like a little like a battery or something um to be fair i might keep this in a locker and like just get it on the way home i don't know um because i don't want anyone to steal it and you can hang it pull it up and you got a little light all these and these were a pound like for a packet one pound so these are euro hike ones heavy duty kfs set so knife fork and spoon i'm guessing that stands for slide it down and it comes off and then you've got a knife because cutting with a plastic knife let's be honest it's just ridiculous okay i can't believe these were only a pound each i just think that's such good value for money so yeah a set for me and a set for jacob and that is everything i got from millets um like i say we've got pots and pans um we've got plates and stuff which i'll show you again it looks like i haven't moved but i have i've actually been quite busy today shops and stuff i saw my niece for a little bit excuse the state of me like I'm aware I've looked like this the whole of this video, but I don't normally look this ugly. B&M haul. Look at that. This total came to £23, but my sheen parcel's still not here. And it is almost 8 o'clock in the evening on Tuesday. I'm aware this video is quite long, so I'm going to try and whiz through this part. But again, this is quite interesting. Food and drinks to take to the festival. Haven't sorted alcohol yet, so um alcohol we're just going to put in plastic containers more food shopping tomorrow to get a little bit more bits and bobs but i thought i may as well go to b&m because it's usually a bit cheaper in b and yeah not from b&m pasta and sauce mac and cheese i got these from aldi when i took my niece to go get a drink so i quickly got these just two each and these weren't expensive at all just add add water 39p and then i got these um I thought Jacob quite likes s sweets rather than savoury food, whereas I prefer savoury. I think they're like twirl things. I don't really know. Apparently they're made of real fruit though, so they're quite healthy. I got a strawberry and a raspberry one. But I just grabbed them because I thought they were quite cute and they were only cheap. They were, again, 39p each. Fruit winders, a pound. I believe these were. I didn't get a receipt, but I, everything was basically a pound each. But some of these, because I remember... Me and my sister used to have these at school. Again, a pound, a pack, brunch bar, chocolate chip, and these bad Cadbury's. So these are actually quite nice, and for a pound, I was like, yes. So I got the chocolate chip ones, but I also got um, the raisin ones, because me personally, I prefer raisin. Got a pack of digestives. These were a little bit more expensive. They were like £1.20 
from my memory. Four bottles of smart water because it was two for 90p. I was like, what the heck? That's so good. So again, cheaper than in store. Um, but we've got some smart water to get us through. Four bottles each. A Vimto and a Fanta Fruit Twist. These were each, um, I think, like 39p. Um, they were less than 50p each, even though it says price on here. Then I got, these were only a pound, bin lighters, 15 litre ones. Um, you get 40 in it and yeah, it's just a pound. It says maximum strength, but it's probably, they're probably a load of rubbish. But I thought for our rubbish, it'd be great. Can't go wrong for a pound. But these were literally 25p each. So I was like, for 50p, two flat packs, yes, please. They'll do me in the morning for breakfast or a snack during the day. Um, to be fair, I probably could have got like another two, but I am quite conscious of we will mainly be eating at the festival. It's just evening times and morning times in the first two days in particular that we probably won't. Um, toilet tissues, 40 flushable wipes. So again, I thought these would last us um, whether we want to use them as baby wipes or whether we, like, you know, if we spill our drink or something at the tent or whether to take them to the toilet if we need them. So I thought, get some cheap ones, but I also got some branded ones. So these were 40p and the branded ones, the Andrex ones, were a pound. So I just got two packets because I was like, will one packet be enough? I know that sounds silly, but I wasn't sure. We've got kitchen roll as well. I then bought a packet of mac and cheese. Um, Jacob said he really liked this one. So I'm, he can be not picky, picky. Um, so he might not like the other mac and cheese, I'm not sure. But I remember him saying he liked this one. So I thought if he didn't like the other one, he can have this one. Two of these um i think yeah um and we both like these we're both kind of obsessed with these to be fair these are the cheese and broccoli pasta and sauces and i've got some polos for a pound because i thought in the morning like before we can be bothered to go to the toilets and brush our teeth we're gonna stink because you get three packets of chewing gum there and no way we're gonna eat all those um in five days the extra white toothpaste i like the extra white in ones um and it's clean mint so we like and it's just easier than taking one from home because the one from home everyone uses. So, um, yeah, we've got toothpaste for a pound. I got some fruit pasta because, again, Jacob prefers sweets and, like, over savoury things. So I got those for him, for patty rings and jammy dodgers because Jacob likes those. I just think of him, basically, all, all the time. So he's basically sorted for snacks, to be quite honest. I don't think we really need to get any other snacks tomorrow other than maybe something for me, like maybe some crisps. Shawls, again, these were all really cheap. The body wash, I believe, was a pound um ray dots is that how you say it um there's only like three left of this scent so i was like oh this must be the best scent so i got this um again it's just cheap and handy to take because again i don't want to take like the family one it's just easier to buy a new one because we can leave it as well um because we'll probably use most of that in five days i think to be fair and we've got shampoo and conditioner i've got the coconut ones i remember my gran used to have these at her house and they, they do just fine they were really cheap they were like 50p each um you just can't go wrong so cheap and so good and at the end of the day It'll keep us clean for five days, so it doesn't matter. Um, I got some of these because I'm going to get some long life milk. However, um, for like cereal and stuff, um, we're going to get like two or three small cartons. Okay? But I thought I'd get two packets of these because they were 49p each. I'm really good at remembering all the prices. Um, and they're like what you get in the hotels, you know, the little ones. Um, and I thought it's good for when I just want a cup of tea. Oh, I don't know what to do about machine art, but God knows. You, you won't even find out whether it comes in time or not. Um, because I'm hoping to have this video finished and edited tonight. So then wish us luck. Um, and yeah. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos. And I might make like a little what's the word compilation video can't even say the word of all the different clips from Lee's that i got maybe so that i can look back on that and show you all how we found it um i might do a Leeds festival tips and tricks or pack with me list if you want that as well so let me know down below if that would be useful but yeah hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in my next video